Hey grillers, Brad here from BB Grill Shack. Today we're gonna find out whether or not beer or Cosmo Q Moisture Magic are good for tenderizing steaks. Let's get started. So I was at a barbecue competition a couple weeks ago. It was an SCA steak cook-off and I did okay, but what I found out is that my steak wasn't tender enough. I saw a lot of people using different styles of tenderization, including beer, um, injections, all kinds of stuff. So today, I'm gonna to start a video series where I'm gonna try out some of those. Today, I'm gonna to try marinating in beer, and I'm gonna try marinating in beer with Cosmo Q Moisture Magic and see if either of them are good tenderizers. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna cut my New York strip into three about equal sizes. For the first steak, what I'm gonna do is just soak it in beer for 45 minutes. The second steak is gonna sit in a combination of one a can of beer and one teaspoon of Cosmo's Moisture Magic for 45 minutes. The third steak is a control. It's gonna sit on the counter right next to the other two for 45 minutes as well. Now that I've been tenderizing my steaks for 45 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a light dusting of seasoning. They're all getting the same seasoning. One of my favorites, Rub Baby by Best Damn Barbecue Sauce. It's super good, I'd give it a try. Shout out to Mike, Best Damn Barbecue Sauce. Now I'm gonna take each steak out of its marinade, pat it dry, and give it a light coat of Rub Baby West Coast APR. You can tell that from the marinade, we had a few changes. The control stayed as it was. The steak marinating in beer got a really grayish pink light kind of washed out color. And the steak marinating in beer plus Cosmo's Moisture Magic almost looks like it got more red and maybe a little bit faded out as well. After I've rubbed the steaks, I'm gonna let them sit for about 15 more minutes to absorb the flavor. Now it's time to get cooking, so I'm gonna crank up my grill as hot as it goes, and we're gonna to try to do a nice sear on these. Now that our steaks are soaked and seasoned, it's time to sear them up and see if there's any difference between them. Now that our steaks are cooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and take them inside and let them rest for a few minutes before we start testing them. The first test for our steak is gonna to be to poke them with a bamboo skewer and find out how tender they are. The second test is gonna be cutting them with a butter knife. I wanna see if I can make a nice clean cut and make a nice little slice of meat using a butter knife. For the third test, of course it'll be a taste test. The skewer test shows the control might be the most tender, with the beer and the beer plus moisture magic being a little bit less tender to the probe. The butter knife cutting test showed the control to be the toughest, the beer to be the most tender, and the beer plus moisture magic was somewhere in between. Last and definitely not least, we have the steak tenderness taste test. I'm going to start with the control, go to the beer soak, and go to the beer soak plus moisture magic. I'll give the control a 5 out of 10 for tenderness. I'd say the beer soak is also a 5 out of 10 for tenderness. The difference with it is you can definitely taste the beer in there. It tastes, uh, it tastes like a mouthful of beer when I was eating it. So 
So the third one, the beer with moisture magic, it was maybe a little bit more tender, maybe a six out of 10, and tasted less like beer than just the beer soak. So I'm not sure what advantage we got out of that one. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. I love making these videos for you. I get to eat steaks out of the deal. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good weekend.